Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another video, and today we're gonna be showing y'all how to load fonts in Photopea, and this is gonna be the updated 2022 version. So, videos you may look at that may have not worked for um, Photopea. So, if this one helps you out, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel because this is gonna be very simple and to the point. So, without that being said, let's get straight into the video. First thing you want to do when you open Photopea, open up the file that you need to change the font on. As you can see, I have three examples right here that I'm going to be showing in the video. And I actually did a tutorial on this right here. So for the, my people on Photopea that need help accessing my PSDs to change the font, this video will help you out. So basically, you want to go to the type tool over here. And you want to drag across the font that you want to change. Now, as soon as you click on this font right here, and you don't have this inside the Photopea, it's going to take you to a default font. So what you will have to do you go to google and this is the burbank big condensed you will have to go to google type in that font and you will have to click i'm not a robot then click download and you can use the same website whatever website you get it from i'm gonna leave the fonts in the description anyway but click download then you want to go back to photopea and let's just say i'm on the default font that they gave me right i'm just on the default font right now so to get off of this default font, like I say, you should have all the layers selected, right? Then you want to go to load font and you want to click the font right here. Like it should look like that. We go your downloads and you want to click open. And once you click open, it's going to pop up something. You just hit OK. And then you can go to find and search up the font and the font should be right there. And it's pretty much that simple to change the font. Now let's go to another one. And I actually don't have this font already. So it's really going to be a real example of how it will look. We try to do it so yeah so you want to click on it with the text tool and it'll take you to this default font right here and as you can see i don't have a font in here so like i said this will be an actual example so the font right here that i use is called ancient so i already have it searched up i got this one off of the font.com you can find a lot of them on here and what i'm gonna do is just click download and open up the zip some people have trouble with this tool so just open up the zip and what you can do is just drag it in here like so and once you do that you want to go over here to photo p again go right here and go to load font and after that type in the font because they put mine all the way at the bottom so but you just type it in if you don't see it up here so i'm gonna type in ancient middle boom you bring in the font and it's pretty much that easy to change the font to how you want it instead of doing a thumbnail i'm gonna just do another anime banner i made and if y'all messing with these anime banners let me know if y'all want a tutorial on it and i might even drop a photo peel version too after i try the photoshop version saying if i draw the tutorial though so to do the little method is still the same thing obviously i don't have this font in photo peel so what i would do is go over here and click the font and boom oh my goodness they changed it back to the default font and we do not want that so I'm gonna just, and I don't have this one popped up already, so I'm just type in Ninja Naruto font, and they actually tell you what's the name of the font. So just go to thefont.com, hit download, go in the zip, and I'm gonna just extract this to my downloads or something like this. So I'll be able to check out when I do this. Alright, so I extracted it, you feel me? And now you wanna go back in here and load the font once again, just like we've been doing. And mine's not up here, so what I would do is just type in the font, and you will be able to find it that way. So just type in Ninja Naruto. I know why I downloaded so many times, but boom, once you type it in, the font will appear right here. And it's pretty much how you load fonts in Photopea. It's simple. You don't have to do all this in Photoshop, though, but it's pretty simple. And when I figured this out, it was a big game changer for my Photopea tutorial. So if this helped you out, like I said at the beginning, drop a like and subscribe. It's been your boy, NF Dragon. Peace out.